The council chambers in Johannesburg were half empty today. EFF members were not present. Usually there's no telling exactly what time the sitting will end. However, today the ANC decided to walk out and the meeting ended abruptly. Today's council meeting was brief. It was adjourned shortly after lunch following a decision taken by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Vasco da Gama. The ANC felt that they were being undermined and are constantly being undermined by this council. The EFF was not present. We decided to speak to the respective parties to gain a better understanding of why they felt they were being undermined and we also got a response from the Mayor himself. The second report tabled in council today was around the process of um, IDP uh, consultations and adoption. So it's a report that's supposed to be approved by council and that report must be done at least 10 months before the beginning of the next financial year. Now 10 months was in August. So in August the meeting did not correct because they withdrew some of the reports. Yes, this one they did not withdraw, but we wanted to deal with the composite of all reports so we decided to say, look, if we are going to disrespect us, we sit in caucuses and, and deal with all reports the whole day, uh, and then you come and withdraw some of them, then, then for us it's not working. It's something that is not working. So today, they bring the same report like last time. Now, we stood as the ANC and said, but guys, what are you doing? Because this thing is late. Surely, you should bring them a reason why it's late and, and ask for an extension from from the province. Then they stand up and say, no, 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 we've done that. That's when we ask for a caucus to say, what do we do? Because we want to see that letter. We can't approve. You can't condone something if you don't know they've done the rules. They said they did it. So therefore, when we come back and we, they bring us the letter, they then bring the letter that, no, uh, sorry, the letter was not sent. So we felt completely undermined by them. They lie to council, they mislead council, they run in this municipality on the basis of untruths, and that's not sustainable. So the ANC felt completely undermined by somebody who switches on and on. And when last time, he said it's their prerogative to do things. So they're disrespecting us. Overall, the ANC's issue is the manner in which reports are presented to them in council. They feel there is no proper procedure being followed. Yes. They, 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 they don't present to council, the way it should be presented to council, the things that should be presented to council. They, they don't bring policies, they make pronouncements that are council preserve. They, they disrespect the rules and then they go to court and say we must stick to the rules. Which is why we've lost confidence on the mayor. It's exactly these things that we've lost confidence in the mayor and the speaker. This issue was just a demonstration on why we lost confidence in the mayor because he simply cannot cut it. On the point of losing confidence in the mayor, yesterday the South Gauteng High Court held that the ANC's urgent application to table a motion of no confidence against the Speaker of the House and the mayor by secret ballot lacked urgency. The court struck the ANC's application from the roll and awarded punitive costs in favour of the city. Well, our urgent application was around the rationality of the programming committee to, re to reject the motion. We thought the motion would be rejected in council not the motion rejected in programming committee. So, so what we then did was to say to court, look, can you review the, the reasons given by the speaker? Because you want the motion to be tabled today. That's how it was urgent. But in their replying papers, they offered us to table the motion in November in the next meeting. So on those bases, the, speaker, the, the judge says, but you have a remedy. <laughs> the remedy is in two months. You won't die in two months. So, the matter is not urgent. So we accept them. We accept. We, we thought we put up a case um, and we thought that maybe the judiciary, because it was one judge and the issues were quite complex and constitutional, um, we, we're still going to test the matter on what the programming committee can and can't do. We're still taking it forward. But the motion of all confidence is coming. Closed or secret, uh, open ballot or closed ballot, it doesn't matter. The new coalition administration of the city of Johannesburg is currently being challenged. We caught up with Johannesburg's mayor, Herman Meshaba, to understand these ongoing challenges and disruptions in council meetings from his perspective. Well, I think it's unfortunate uh, that um, NC is determined to use every available tool uh, uh, to them uh, to collapse this government. Unfortunately, they tried yesterday and they lost and they had to find another excuse. I mean, if you look at uh, the, uh, the report that they rejected, the report that allows us as government, we can start the uh, IDP process to consult with our people so that when we start formulating our 2018-2019 budget, we've got the input of society.
for something like this to get the ANC to walk out of uh, council, I think they're just taking advantage in the sense that EFF is not here. And I can only personally make an appeal to the EFF to realize, because they're the ones who took a decision last year that they will vote with us on important matters. And with them not being around, ANC is taking advantage of the situation, making us vulnerable. Because from the beginning, the, the outcome of the results of last year would not allow us to do certain things on our own. We need our political partners and the EFF to be able to serve the people of Johannesburg. So I'm really just making a special appeal to EFF to understand that ANC is determined through whatever means to collapse this government. Even the courts yesterday proved to them that they were wrong. Now they're now trying other tricks, which is very unfortunate. We asked the mayor why the EFF was not present today. Well, uh, I think uh, we, we'll have to really to get to understand from them as to why they're not here. Because as you are aware, they were here earlier on and decided to move uh, away. Knowing very well that we've got a very, very important council meeting to be able to allow government to really carry on. But uh, obviously, as you are aware, there are national issues that uh, EFF is concerned about about with all the coalition arrangements all over the country. But ultimately, one thing that they've got to understand, that history is going to judge all of us, all these failures, because the biggest casualties of this are our poor South Africans, our poor members of the community, who are today without jobs, who are today without uh, uh, accommodation, who are today without hope and pride. And uh, ANC, as we are aware, they are determined to, to collapse us, whatever means available to them. So EFF, you took the decision to work with us. And for me, I believe it is your responsibility to ensure that you attend council meetings. When there are issues that you want to engage with us, please engage with us. Please don't involve the city of Johannesburg with national matters. Here is what other council members felt about today's adjournment. Whilst the ANC was arguing their point and saying that they are walking out, the speaker announced so quickly that um, he is adjourning council that some of us did not even hear that because our hands were up and we wanted to speak on the issue uh, and it's, 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 it's really becoming annoying. Because every time the EFF is not in council, things get withdrawn, nothing happens, special councils are called, EFF is not there, they cannot correct and we cannot be held at ransom because we believe for now that the people outside there needs to be serviced. And if they are not going to be serviced because of, of, of people that cannot run the uh, city, AIC wants it on record, we did not walk out with the ANC. The ANC and DA rather seem to have walked out together today. Well, what's concerning to, 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 to me and also on behalf of our party is the fact that in our previous uh, council meeting, on the, which was held on the 31st of August, uh, uh, approximately about 14 items were withdrawn with no reason. And we just felt that, in fact, the Patriotic Alliance expressly made mention of the fact that uh, we cannot be undermined in this way. Uh, where we don't even receive reason for, for these items being withdrawn. I think it's the right of any political party to challenge a particular decision. But at the end of the day, sanity must prevail. In the sense that we've got all a responsibility. And the responsibility is we went with a, a manifesto to the voters to ask them for their support. They've given up us that support and they've decided as to how council should look like. And uh, unfortunately or fortunately, the uh, coalition is in, in charge of the city of Johannesburg and obviously they do things the way that they best know to do it. Um, and it, it would be disingenuous for political parties at this stage to ask for the head of not only myself but also of the mayor. After having served one year and let's say two months, in this administration trying to rectify what went wrong in the past and not have the support of all political parties because it's in their interest to serve their communities in the best way that they can. And where the, does that happen? It happens in debate within council. And unfortunately, if you don't allow the debate to happen, the agendas 
and the items within it to be approved so that you are able to, to, to deliver that service delivery, we are all going to suffer. So my advice to political parties is that they must put their heads together, ensure that the council proceedings continue in a way that is uh, acceptable and where we are able to take decisions at the end of the day. The political parties that complained that I didn't give them time, unfortunately, uh, the ANC indicated that they uh, would want to walk out for the day. I then gave the opportunity for us to meet again tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock to ensure that we continue the good work that the city must do. Nishina Mohammed for Joburg Today.